mother's milk is one of the first food products that a human being tastes in life right from birth. That is most likely why people like milk and other dairy and fermented milk products the way grow to a mature age. In today's program, Made in Ukraine, we will tell you how dairy products are produced. The production process starts with supply of milk to a dairy plant. After that, the samples of milk are taken from a bulk milk tanker for analysis and monitoring of qualitative indicators. Milk is mixed and tested for temperature and the presence of antibiotics. A milk sample is put into an ultrasonic testing device analyzer. In 1.5 minutes, the device prints a check indicating fat mass and proteins, milk density and weight of dry substances. Then all results are added to a database. The rest of the indicators of raw milk are measured through other special methods. Milk acidity is determined with the help of the titration method. Milk head resistance is measured using an alcohol sample. Milk is also tested for purity. To do that, 250 milliliters of milk are filtered and tested for the presence of extraneous substances. If the filter is clean, the milk belongs to the first group of purity. Taking into account all the indicators of raw milk, a laboratorian specifies the product grade and sends all the data to a dairy receiving department. If the milk indicators meet accepted standards, it is pumped out from bulk milk tankers. Laboratorians also do an analysis of a mixture that is used to make cocoa. They monitor the weight of fats and hydrogen ion concentration before adding and after adding components to the mixture. Raw milk is pumped into the receiving room, which is equipped with filters and counters. An operator controls the process on a special control panel. Information about every lot of milk is archived and saved and stored in a special database of the dairy plant. The raw material is delivered to the milk receiving and processing room, where it is weighted, filtered, cooled and undergoes primary processing. It is a necessary stage to improve its microbiological indicators and quality. Primary milk processing consists of several consecutive processes. Among them there are centrifugal purification, bacterial milk purification, removal of microorganisms from milk, the separating process, separation of raw material into skim milk and cream. After that, the raw material is standardized, meaning tested milk is mixed with cream in the proper proportions to make production of necessary fatness. The last stage of primary processing is primary pasteurizing. Before further processing, milk is stored in massive 50-ton reservoirs. The daily plant produces several types of products. Let's start with cocoa. The main ingredients to make cocoa are sugar, cocoa and natural thickener, carrageenan. These ingredients are added to milk after standardization. After passing through the standardization process, milk undergoes several technological stages – deaeration, homogenizing, post-pasteurization and cooling. The deaeration method is applied in order to remove milk any foul tests and smells caused by volatile substances. Homogenizing is the pulverization of fat layers to ensure stable homogeneous consistency of the product. This process has a positive effect on milk absorbency, eating properties and the preservation of the product's quality. To achieve a better effect and hence a higher quality, the plant uses dual-stage homogenizing. Remains of inimical bacteria are removed after post-pasteurizing. This ensures high quality and the safety of the product, which preserves its nutritional properties. After that, cocoa is placed on a conveyor. It passes through a cooling apparatus and then it ends up in a special filling machine through closed pipes. Cocoa is poured out at a temperature from 10 to 20 degrees. Here, we observe the process of packaging. This is an automated process. Then, the packaged product is placed in a multiple package. A special automated device envelopes every 10 packages into one polyethylene box. After that, these polyethylene boxes are evenly placed on pallets and transported to a special room for finished products. After separation of raw material into cream and skim milk, raw milk is stored in a separate reservoir. 
Later, this cream is used to produce butter. In this reservoir, creams go through a physical aging process. As a result, 30% of milk fat is crystallized. This stage is necessary in order for butter to be properly churned, to be softer and have appropriate consistency, in other words, to achieve better butter. The cream aging process can last from 8 to as much as 48 hours. Cream with 35-40% fattiness is sent to a butter-making machine. This is a specialized device in which cream is skimmed off the head of the milk to make butter. This automated equipment makes butter briquettes prior to their packaging. Butter is also packaged with the help of special equipment. This is a conveyor which packs butter automatically. After that, packers put butter briquettes in cardboard boxes and send them to a warehouse. Fermented milk and dairy products are stored in separate reservoirs. All the technological processes are carried out in a closed stream. The finished product passes through closed pipes and then it is poured out. This is the process of sour cream packaging. It is poured out into polystyrene cups at a temperature of 18-22 degrees above zero. The product passes through a closed pipe to a bunker. After that, a dose meter fills the cups with sour cream in accordance with the mass fixed by an operator. The cups are stoppered with foils and sent to a conveyor belt. Packers put cups on transportation dollies and send them to a finished product storage facility. The dairy factory produces 20 tons of sour cream per day. The finished product is not only preserved at a product storage facility, it is also cooled. After that, the plant transports the finished products to supermarkets. This is the final stage of the technological process. All dairy products are ready for human consumption, thanks to the Dairy Fairy.